All right, what's up, YouTube family? Welcome to the channel. I got Antonio. Everybody want he wanted to be called Tone Antonio Dustin Jr. Uh, I guess introduce yourself, bro. Antonio Dustin Jr. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, I'm Antonio Dotson. Um, I'm a real estate investor in the uh, Memphis area. I do a lot of wholesaling, looking to scale some. And um, just met my guy, O'Neal. He making some money out there in Memphis. <laughs> trying to, trying to. And boy, 22 getting them $20,000 checks. <laughs> That's his up, though, bro. I wouldn't do that at 22. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess let's get started. How you, um, so what's your background? How you got into real estate? Or what you was doing before? Uh, hey, let me ask you that. Before I got into real estate, I was actually playing basketball at a dream college in, Mi in Mississippi. And, um, I ended up, I had a full ride scholarship to a school in Texas, but the summer leading up into that, my house caught on fire. So I stayed home, I got a job, I enrolled at the University of Memphis and stuff like that. That was my first time not playing basketball and I realized how much I didn't like school. So, uh, after that, I had I just started looking up ways to build wealth, and everything that I looked up, everybody that I looked up, they either got their money in real, got it in real estate, or they made it somewhere else, and then they put their money into real estate to maintain the wealth. So uh, that kind of piqued my my uh, my curiosity, and then my cousin he came back into town, and they ended up buying a house, and um, he was just like some guy was selling her, selling everybody a lot of property. So I'm like, ain't no way somebody just got a bunch of beat up houses all through our mix. Right. So I looked, I looked them up, and um, I came across the time hole. So the rest is history. Man, well, we we basically got the same story, kind of, because I was in foot, I was in a uh, going to college. I was playing football, and I didn't really yeah. be there either. I was just there because I was playing football. So <laughs> I broke my leg, and once that I did that, I was like. Forget all this. So it's time to make some money. So I started. Well, I've been I've been interested in real estate since I was younger, but I just thought they had real estate agents. So I didn't know nothing about real estate investors. But after yeah. I broke my leg, like man, it's time to get this money. So I got me a <laughs> job, and then um, I started working. And then I I built my first house at 21. So I think after a year staying there, I was just chilling on the sofa. I was looking on YouTube how to earn extra money, and like you said, everything went to real estate. And I seen wholesaling, I was like, man, I really don't want to do this because I'm not a salesman, you know? But yeah. I started with that, did it for six months, made like 50 grand, and then I just started buying houses. So you where I'm trying to be. I'm about to make two years in October. This would actually be my, I haven't even hit a year yet. Damn, for real? Yeah, this is my ninth month. I started in January. Damn, boy, you doing good. <laughs> So, let, I'm trying. so did you 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 ran into like a a guru like a to get your education? How you learned about it? Um well first I I was just looking up YouTube and I started finding um uh, podcasts and stuff like that. So I didn't know if I knew everything. I kinda felt like I I was missing some stuff but I didn't have nobody to ask. So I reached out to the guy that my um cousin and then they were buying the houses from him. And it turned out he had a course. So I bought the course, paid like $500. And then um, found out everything I need to know was on the, on YouTube and podcasts. I wasted <laughs> Yeah. So it just kind of, but it sure me up. I was like, oh, I guess I didn't know what I was doing. But it gave me free contracts. I didn't know I can get contracts for free from other people. So he yeah. gave me free contracts. So I was just like, I guess I got something out of it. But most of the stuff I learned was from uh, YouTube and podcast. Damn, that's crazy. Me too, bro. <laughs> yeah, I still but listen to you to this day. That's crazy. You know, you a lot of people always ask how you do this, how you do that, and they're just too lazy to look on YouTube. All the information free. That's what I tell people all the time. They they ask me every little thing. I'm like, man, as soon as you type in whole something, that's the first thing that pops up. You just got to do it. Yeah, a million things pop up. Well, for the people who don't know, Explain what wholesaling is. I forgot to hit that. What is wholesaling? <laughs> wholesaling is the art of finding deeply discounted deals, getting it on under contract and selling the contract to an buyer. And you've been doing it for nine months. Nine months, yeah. 
So explain to me, how was it in the beginning? Like, how was your, your first deal? My first deal? <laughs> um, my first deal, it came, well, actually, my first, I had a deal, my first deal, and I ended up losing it. The seller backed out. So run, a, run us through that. Let's hear that. <laughs> okay. So I caught, I was just doing coke. I think I bought a list for like, I spent like $60 on list. So I bought a list of um, absentee owners. I was just cold calling. And it was actually the last person on the list. He actually answered the phone. was like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I bought a, yeah, you can buy the house. And I was like, I'll give you 30000 for it. And it was like, I don't know. You might want to come look at it. I went out there and looked at it. And we ended up a grand ad. I want to say 35 which was a little bit too much. I, I got lucky and I found the guy that would pay. Um, he wanted to pay, I think, 42. So I was going to make 7000 off of it. Yeah, that ain't the bad. day he went out, yeah, it wasn't. But um, I expected, I mean, while he was expecting the property, the seller called me and was like, hey, man, my wife said she was going to divorce me if I uh, sell the house. Yada, yada. I was like, what? And crazy. as he's telling me this, the uh, investors are sitting right in front of me looking at the house saying, yeah, we want it. So I had to sit there and tell them, yeah, we can't do the deal no more. I didn't know that I could, uh, I didn't know what I could do to keep them from doing it. I know a little bit now. You had them on the contract at that point? I had them on the contract. Got the contract and everything. And um, the buyer was inspecting. He called me. And um, what's crazy is, a month after that deal fell through, I seen the same deal. Somebody, another wholesaler emailed me the same deal. He, he was selling it for a high. They were, I think they were trying to market it for like 60K. So it was way over price. But I figured he wanted more, and that's why he wanted to back Yeah, that's why he backed up. That I blew my Just letting him do that. Damn, that's crazy. So you said yeah. your first list from... List source, right? You still there? You can hear uh, me? You go? Yeah, so you got your first list from list source, right? Yeah, I got it from list source. And you got absentee owners. So for the people that mm -hmm. don't know, absentee owners is basically like, I own a house, like I live in Georgia, but I own a house in Tennessee. That's what an absentee right. is. But um, so what you did after after uh, your first deal? So uh, how, how you overcame yeah. how you overcame that? Cause I knew you was like, damn. What, yeah. What I now? Right. Yeah. So he um after that I was like, man, I don't know what I was doing. I actually had my cousin and one of my best friends. So we was we had our own little partnership and stuff like that. So after that we was just like, man, we on. They was like they just like, kind of like got the split. Yeah, well, they were. Me, I was like, nah, I got it. Because I, I guess that deal right there falling through kind of like gave me that passion that I had in basketball. Yeah. And I had found it in something else. So it was kind of like a competitive edge, I guess. So I was like, man, I'm not going to go out like that. Yeah. So I, had, I was yeah, like, I'm going. Yeah, I didn't start it. I done told people that I'm doing this and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fail. I'm going to at least get one deal. So after that, um, I had started Ubering and everything. I Ubered to make some money to buy some more lists and stuff like that. I started going to uh, then look, real meetings and stuff like that. So I started cold calling. I started making like 100 to 200 calls a day. Damn, um, this is up. Yeah, it took, <laughs> I took me a, I didn't get my first deal until like a month later, but it was it was 8,500. So your first deal, you got it about what two months after you initially started. The first deal that you closed? My first deal that I actually closed, yeah, it was beginning of March. And oh, after cool. that, yeah, it just started flowing after that. What what you made on your first deal? 8500 Ooh. Yeah. Man, man, bro. <laughs> My yeah. first deal made 2000 And I was happy. For real? Yeah. <laughs> but that ain't bad, eighty five. So how many deals you closed since then? I've done, I have one in escrow right now. That'll be 16. Damn, man. I closed 17 in like five months. For real? Yeah. yeah I'm trying to get there. <laughs> so, uh, 
So you think you gonna make over six figures this year for your first year? You about to pass that already? Yeah, I. Damn. I'll probably, yeah, I probably, yeah, I have. So y'all hear that? This man is twenty-two, made over six <laughs> figures in nine months. So it's possible. Yeah. So this, this basically, this you full time then? That's me full time. So full you see, time. you see yourself doing anything else? Uh, outside of real estate. Yeah. Um, I'm actually writing a book right now. About what? If you could tell um, us. <laughs> uh, it's basically um, it's called Win Wise Investment. Now, it's just telling us, telling, explaining because people don't know um about how to reach financial freedom. People don't know the power of credit the power of cash, how to actually make money. They don't teach us about real estate in school and investing in school and stuff like this. So I want to uh, reach people around my age group and a little bit younger than me. I got you, I got you. Well, you yeah. definitely inspired me, bro. You're 22. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Yeah, it's a, it's a grind, though, man. I tell people the work ain't hard. You got to work hard at it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The model easy, but it take a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I told work. you yesterday. I think, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely the model is definitely easy, but you know, people on Instagram and Facebook always saying like it's easy money, but once they yeah. get into it, they think it's just gonna fall on their lap. Because they kind of they kind of promote wholesaling as a um get rich quick scheme. Right. They only show you the forty thousand dollar checks. They don't show you the fifteen hundred dollar checks and stuff yeah. like that. And they ain't uh, show you what what it took to get that check either. <laughs> yeah, and that they don't even let you know that could have been that first deal. All right. So yeah, what was your, uh, your smallest check and your business, your biggest check you made so far? My smallest check. My smallest check had to be, I think it was six hundred dollars. It was six hundred dollars. My smallest check was three twenty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I went tripping. There's a profit. I'm like, yeah. this is gonna make a profit. I ain't had the money before. I'm good. I'm not greedy. <laughs> Oatmeal is better than no meal. Right. Every day of the week. My biggest had was was twenty thousand. Was twenty thousand. Man, it's time to start buying some buy and hold, bro. Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. You can come fly there and check it out. Well, I could drive something like six hours. Nah, I ain't driving. Huh? I could drive something <laughs> six hours, but I ain't driving. Nah, that's too far. Yeah, man. You work full time, though. So, you know, hey, bro. you got to make up for the time. I work four days a week, bro. For real? Yeah, Monday through Thursday. All right. That's what's up. Yeah, ain't bad. About to relaunch the wholesaling business, though. We're going to meet up in October. Yes, sir. So, uh, what's your plans for next year? Next year, um, starting in January, I plan on um, getting some buy, some buy and holds and um, flipping. I want to uh, scale my flipping business into Atlanta. I got a lot of ties in Atlanta and stuff like that with contractors and stuff. And the real estate is booming out there. And Memphis is really a um, rental market. Yeah. So I want to I wanna get some larger spreads and some rental properties in Atlanta, possibly some Airbnbs. Man, I'm trying um, to do the same thing. I'm looking, I was looking for a condo out there. I was in uh, Atlanta in August. For real? Yeah, man, I'm going to have to hook you up with my people out there, bro. Yeah, my cousin, the one that I told you that just came back out here and he had that uh flip. Yeah. He just graduated from Morehouse in Atlanta. Oh yeah. So that's right that's basically right but they got a whole lot of houses. Yeah. Kinda like the hood, but it's not. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's right by all those universities and stuff like that. It's it's a lot of uh gentrification going on. Yeah. So uh yeah, we plugged in out there. That's what's up, bro. Let's see. Let's see. So, um, damn, I don't know what else to say. What advice you have for people that's your age that's trying to get into real estate? Um, advice I have for people my age: don't feel entitled. Don't feel like this is a because I know they they advertise it as a get rich quick scheme. Everybody gets their first deal at different paces, so don't get in it and um get a deal and be like, I'm only going to make 500 and throw it away. Because you feel like you're supposed to be getting 10, 20, 30, 40,000 dollars every deal. So 
and to know that this is a grind. It's a job. You don't own a business until you start hiring employees. This is, you own a job, but it is it's low risk, high reward. So the more you put into it, the more you get out. Yes, sir. So you plan on going back to college and finish? Nah, um, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> man, um, ain't no point, bro. Go to college for what? <laughs> exactly, man. That's what I, my mom, she was, uh, she, you to she, go was back. she did. She's not on me as much. I mean, when you, when you bring the nice chicks home, so can really she, argue with success. What she feel about it now? Like what, what everybody was saying when you, you said you wanted to get into real estate? Like what your friends um, and family was telling you? They probably didn't um, understand. They didn't understand the concept of wholesaling, right. but my mom, she was very supportive with me getting into it. Her main thing was, don't get out of school, don't don't drop out of school. But when I ended up doing it, she she wasn't she wasn't as dis well. I won't say she wasn't disappointed. She wasn't as mad as I thought she was. I thought she was gonna be pissed, but she wasn't. She was just like, um, are you gonna go back? And I was like, yeah, but in my head, I was like, no. <laughs> happy. Uh, yeah, so for me right now, is um, I explained to her, like, I can put that money into a house that'll pay me for the rest of my life. Right. Like, as long as I'm making good money, I don't really feel the need to go pay all that money for a degree that I'm not going to use. Well, a piece of paper. I have. Yeah. I feel so like I want. You pay forty five, well, what forty grand maybe for college for a piece of paper to get a job that's gonna pay maybe thirty five grand. Yeah, that's what I tell people all the time. I, they, people think I'm knocking college. I don't. If you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, or something, go. Yeah. But I mean, go to degree, but just to get yeah. a or general studies, you waste some money. You might as well go learn how to really make money and build wealth. Yeah. So how your friends and your family and your mom feel now that you you see success in real estate? Man, they they're very supportive, they're proud. Um there's a lot of people as far as my cousins and people I don't even know, they reach out to me all the time trying they just wanna know how to make money. Yeah. And I do, I'm I'm working on a lot of different things, so um, like my cousin, he's filming my YouTube videos. I'm kind of building a platform for other people to build off of and eat off of and stuff like that. And I, so my parents, they loving it. They know my goal is to retire them by the end of the year. So, I mean, end of the year? Yeah, by the end of the year or next year. Before I'm 25, I want to retire them, though. For sure. Retire your parents? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you said you retire. No, 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 oh, yeah. no, no. You, no. you, you, you turned 22 this year, or you turning 23? I'm turning 23 in March, next March. Oh, so you, you started at 21 then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be, you be well out by the time you're 30. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that is definitely the plan. Got to catch you with these rental properties, bro. Hey, bro. You, we, <laughs> we good. <laughs> You definitely will have about 12 to 15 by the end of the year next year, for sure. Yeah, that's the goal, hopefully. Yeah. You might get one this year, bro. One or two. Yeah. I came across a couple that I was thinking about buying. Especially yeah. the numbers you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, and then real estate out here cheap, man. It's cheap. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm just... I'm just playing it by ear. I'm trying to come across the right property. I want to get a better understanding of it. Yeah. And I'm getting I'm getting a, uh, my general contracting license. So I want to have all this situated before I actually start um, keeping some of these properties. I would rather do the rehab myself because I have funding. I'll let them pay me to fix my own property. Right. It's really no point to pay a general contract to like fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 to call people when you can do it yourself. Exactly, and I can cut the price in half. Yeah, they're really making the money, and they ain't doing much. Pulling permits and making calls. Yeah, man. I actually, I'm fixing my first roof tomorrow. Roof? Yeah. You going to do it Nah. Uh, the guy that actually, I, I think I told you about the guy that, um, he kind of mentored me. He's a general contractor. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I just had to get my license, and um, he's going to send me whatever subs I need that he uses his own business. 
Now you fix that on a uh, a wholesale deal? Huh? You fixing the roof on a wholesale deal that you're working on? Actually, um, my dad just reached out to me. He knew I was in real estate. So he was like, man, do you know any contract that they can uh, fix my roof? I got 3200 I was like, me? He thought I was joking. So uh, you better get you better get paid off of that then. Mm-hmm. Uh, Look at this dude getting paid all type of ways. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's the goal. I'm trying. My main goal is to get about six to seven different streams of income through real estate alone. Right. Yeah. So. Are you trying to get yeah. your own construction company as well? Mm-hmm. Hey man, you inspire me. Well, I, I need to. <laughs> <myself. laughs> Well, I got my uh my GC license, so now um my LLC is getting published and stuff. So I have the connections. So hopefully, um, uh, when I get to doing three to four flips a month, well, not a month, but you know, a couple rentals a month, and keeping three to four flips going at one time, I'll be making money. I'll be getting paid to do that myself, and then get paid to sell it. So, what do you see yourself at about thirty years old? 30 years old. Um, seven years from now from you, for you. Or you see yourself in seven years? Seven years from now, I see myself. Um, you can make a lot of money in that time. Yeah, I'm definitely being a multi-millionaire. Um, seven years from now, I see myself developing houses, uh, being into multi-family. Um, I don't know if I'd be as big as into into wholesaling as I am now. I hear a lot of people saying they'll never stop wholesaling. Um, I don't know. It's a I means to it. Huh? There's a means to it once you're doing bigger stuff. Yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, especially when I uh, you start getting into multifamily and rehab and all that. Because uh, I'm going to be involved in too much. By like seven years from now, I want to have property management company, contracting company, um, flipping business, rental business, and maybe wholesome. Maybe. Maybe wholesome. Have somebody else running it for you. Yeah, that's the plan, man. I'm ready to outsource this. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so who do you like to follow? Like to watch them, like to you know, motivate you and stuff like that, like on YouTube or Instagram. I watch, um, definitely watch Max Maxwell. Um, he's good. Uh, Grant Cardone. Hey, watch some Grant you're Cardone. My, you're from my state, man. Not too far. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, true. Uh, Grant Cardone. I, I try to pull from a lot of different people because I don't really agree with everything that everyone says. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I don't agree with Grant Cardone about. Right, yeah, yeah. He, he's yeah, talking but, to straight rich people. He ain't talking to the, to the yeah. people that make it. He's telling you to save $200,000 in five years before you can buy an investment property. Um, I do believe in single family residence. So, I, Grant Cardone, he's on another scale. So, um, let me see. Podcasts I listen to. I listen to Wholesaling Inc. Um, Max Maxwell's podcast as well. Um, I don't really listen to too many people. Um, Wholesaling Inc. The Carrot. I don't care. They got a podcast. Uh, you like Sean Terry? Yeah, I I, learned, I watched Sean Terry a lot when I first started. Well, he got a lot of energy. Yeah, he does. That's how he really caught my attention. Other than that, I haven't really listened to him too much right now. I feel like he's just trying to sell a lot of stuff. Yeah. I, I have an understanding of the business and stuff now, so it's not. Yeah, you don't really listen to him no more since you know what you're yeah. doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to buy too much of that unless it's properties or something. So. You listen to um, Cody Sperber? Cody who? Sperber, the clever investor. The dude with the glasses, the white dude. I have, I have heard him. Yeah, I actually got his podcast. I didn't know, I didn't even remember his name, but Clever Investor, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. I do listen to him. Yeah, I, I try to listen to new people all the time. Like, I go into phases. Like, I just started by listening to Grant Cardone. So, yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I go in and out because you don't want to listen to the same person all the time. You get tired of hearing their voice and all that. 
Yeah, and I like seeing different people's point of views, perspectives, because right. everybody got their own their own um, way of how they did it. Mm. But they all are wealthy, so I mean, yeah. you can learn something from all of them. Pick and choose what you want. Try to find your own way in between all that. Exactly. But anyway, exactly. gonna wrap it up. If anybody want to connect with you, how can they find you on um, social media or YouTube or whatever? Uh, you can follow me at Antonio Dobson Jr. on on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, and you can um, subscribe to my channel at Antonio Dobson Jr. too. That's all gonna be in the link down in the description. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. But I just want to let you know, bro, I'm proud of you. You're doing your thing, man. At 21, I wasn't doing that. I'm sure <laughs> a lot of people watching not doing that. So I just want to let you know proud of you, man. You inspire me to do better. I appreciate that, man. That's the goal. Inspire. Yeah. Well, we'll talk, man. I'm about to end the video. All right, man. Appreciate you.